my ballistic turtle here, and welcome to another amazing frog episode. As you can see, I'm wearing my shark hat. It's a bit discombobulated at the minute because I've got that weird glitch where I entered the cannon, but my froggy body isn't actually inside of the cannon. And when I fire, it fires me from the position that I was. Just some kind of weird glitch. Can I land on the car? Oh, yes! Can I land on the car? Oh yes! Can I, no, I can't. No. But anyways, in today's episode, I think that we should probably do just, just, just a little bit, just, just a little bit of off-roading. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by just a little off-roading. See, I'm wearing the shark hat. We got that in the last episode. If you didn't know, we killed the megalodon. Also, in the, uh, also on my Sunday special, which was Sunday of last week, I got the Rockstar hot coffee before pungent. I claim that as the, I'm, I'm the first known person to do that, so, um, yeah, Pungence was not the first. But you see, we are here in Swindon, we plan to go up to those mountains, uh, I'll show you something up there, and then we're going to go to the future site of Frog, Frog, Frogopolis City, Frog, Frog yeah, Frogopolis City, I guess. And I believe this shows us all the completed buildings. I do believe, I'm not sure. Regeneration program. Yeah, I believe this shows us all, all the completed buildings. So I guess that's fra Fart Gyms right there, I believe. That's City Hall on that. This is the um, building place. I hope they had a bit more on here. Have you seen the gels? The first one? No, I haven't now. So we should be going out and doing a bit of off-roading, which I might have to do a couple takes of today's episode, as, yeah, it, it's, like, I'm probably likely to flip my car. When I flip my car, I'm pretty sure you guys won't really want to see it, so, I'm, I'm going to have to do a couple of takes. <laughs> The fin's poking out through the top of the car roof. I'm gonna have to turn this down because it's kind of loud in my ear. The engine sound. This is hilarious. The top of the shark. Sorry, cop. I'm not speeding. Totally not speeding. Speeding. Need some water. But yeah, the shark fin's poking out of the top. Although, guys, if you're watching this video, and you do like some of the content I post on my channel, and you have subscribed, or you, th or you thinking about subscribing, please put a comment down in the comment section telling me if I should try and sort out a and add Kingdom into my schedule. Because Kingdom was recently updated, uh, well, it was updated a couple times before I played it last, and when I put it on my Sunday special, I loved the game. I loved the changes they made. I loved it. E I, I loved the game when it first came out. I'm not gonna lie, but I love it even more when they made those changes. And I think the thing that makes it so appealing to me is just the graphics. It, it really just did. The graphics appeal to the game's interesting concept so much. They just put it hand in hand with the interesting concept and make it so much better. And you know, it's I, I, I you know, I just absolutely love that game. Yes, go ahead and check it out. Subscribe if you haven't already. I do post daily content. Uh, ah! Daily content. And the thing after this, I'm going to try and sort out live streams, so I will do some live streaming. So, if you want to see some live streaming, I will start to doing some live streaming on YouTube. It won't be on Twitch, it'll be on YouTube. So, if you want to see some live streaming, I'll do a bit of that. Of course, I'll also make my daily videos. Oh, dang it. Oh, okay. It's all good. But yeah, I'll, I'll do a live stream every now and, now and again. I think I'll probably do the live stream on Minecraft tonight, Minecraft Kingdom. Because I, I cut down on the Minecraft episodes, 
I like to play in Kingdom because my Minecraft is usually I, I like to go pretty ambitious. <laughs> like I already got like a full on chicken farm which took me ages. Um, I only have too much shells, but then next uh, no, I shouldn't I shouldn't no, I'm not gonna say what we're gonna do in the next episode. That that'll be spoilers. And I'll do it on a live stream. I'll give you spoilers on a live stream. Uh, so if you want to see some spoilers, check out the live stream sooner or later. Uh, yeah, sooner, sooner or later, because um, this you may be watching this for you after I've already done the live stream. I'll be doing some other live streams and etc. So you know. Just go and check it out. And the, and the reason why I'm doing this is just I want to use that red car. I could use this purple one, but you know. I want to open up the gates anyways. Because, you know. It's just, it's, just, it's just what you have to do. See, open up the gates and run! Run, my little froggy! Run! When can I make it? I made it through before the gate even opens. Cool. Here we go, and I go up. Uh, I think that's gonna be a bit risky because, as I said, flipping the flipping your car on this is pretty easy. So I'm gonna try and take a route. So I think to prevent so I'm gonna go a bit slower. So I hope that's alright with you if I go a bit slower because I don't want to have to do multiple takes on this video. It'll just be crazy for me if I have to do multiple takes because I flipped my car in the middle of this. But yeah, uh, one of the reasons why I think it'll be good if I I don't cut this out is because then I could spend some time talking to you guys about future ideas. I have noticed that I haven't gotten a subscriber, a subscriber in a week, or over a week even. I don't, I don't know why. I, I really don't know why. Maybe because my audio isn't good or whatever. But if you do decide not to subscribe to me because my content isn't good enough, tell me why. I cannot stress this enough. Tell me why. Because I, I just want to become a better YouTuber in itself. So if you guys don't like this, that'll be a great start. If you guys don't like my contents, then tell me why, and I'll change it. I'll fix it. Uh, and just that, really. Oh my gosh, this is just going to be... You're off-roading because you, they need to implement a system that you can, like, get your car back up. Because right now, it's really, really annoying. Like, super, super annoying to do this. And I don't, I don't know what's wrong because I, I just like I get on a pig. I know that pigs with trampolines are the easiest way to travel, but I get on a pig and I can't control the pig. Like I can't make it move or anything. All I can make it do is fart and get up. Well, actually, no, I can't even make it get up. I can make it fart basically. So you guys tell me why it doesn't work with the pigs? Because I've seen pungents do it, and he can control the pigs. It's just that I, I can't for some unknown reason. I have to be so careful. So you can see, this is pretty bumpy. It's so, so bumpy. I'm just like, this isn't like real off-roading where you're just, because these things are fast, and you don't have problems with not getting grip. The problem is going over a hill too fast and just flipping yourself over. Uh, so I'm kind of just managing my speed carefully. I go up here. So it might take a bit, but it, it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, let's do a bit of a hammer turn. Avoid that, because that could be deadly. To on a slope, I don't really want to take any serious jumps at great speed on a slope. I'm like a slanted edge, because that could lead to future problems. Oh, so quite a big dip here. I want to pull up. But yeah, yeah, if you guys don't like my content for any reason, tell me why. Tell me why. I want to know. Um, I'm having quite of an up down season. Sometimes my average ratings worse, and then it gets better, and then it gets even worse uh, than it was before, then it's even better than it was before. It's just like, the chart gets even squigglier and squigglier. <laughs> um, so, you know. But I am an early YouTuber, so I don't expect to get any great things out of this early on. I know that it's been like five years since Dante Yam started his YouTube channel and he's at 11 million after five years. And it takes him like three years to get to like 5,500,000. So 
Most of it's just getting to that one million, and then once you get onto that one million, it starts to take off. Really? Oh, 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 oh. Yes, okay. One pre- That's like a tip. Oh, that could have been so much worse. That could have been so, so much worse. Do you know what? I think this may have been the first time that I've done this flawlessly. Most of the time, I flip my car halfway here and have to walk the rest of the way. Um, but, you know... If it's really this close to the mountain, I think I might just walk it. Because it's it really might take a while, but, you know, it's it really isn't that far. So, here we go. Okay. There's kind of like a dip here, so I'm going to go down to this dip and hope that it'll be kind enough to let me travel at great speed without really there any bumps or anything. Uh, I'm already thinking this might not happen. Alright, uh, it's actually starting to smooth out. I think I might not be able to make it up this gradient. This gradient is pretty steep. I'm trying to climb up this mountain with this car and it's not going so well. Um, the gradient is seriously steep here. And at this point in time, I can't slow down because of bumps. Because uh, I need to keep this speed. I just need to hope that my car can hold out and keep up with the gradient for as long as possible. And then I'll have to walk as little as possible. It's kind of just it. I'm, I'm holding out my luck. This is the farthest I think I've ever gotten. Well, I've gotten once here in a bus. But that was a long time ago. And I couldn't get up this gradient in a bus. And I think then they made some changes to this. So I'm not absolutely certain how well this is going to go. And I mean, they usually I take a different way up here, but... It's still the same place here where I'm coming to about now. So if I just continue up here, theoretically, I should be able to continue, right? Right? Yeah? I'm doing well? I just hope that it goes alright? Alright, I'm not... I don't think I'll get any tipping, because it's kind of impossible at this point. Because I'm going so slow because of this gradient. Oh, this is... this is getting pretty bad. But I still can't slow down. Yeah, I'm getting loads of bumps. I'm pretty sure you guys can hear that. It's actually quite bumpy on this terrain. I definitely won't be able to make it all the way up there. I've just got to try my luck and hope I can make it up as far as I possibly can with this car. And then once I start to stop and go down backwards, I'm going to bail out, kind of. It's the only option at this point. Yeah, I made it up here once before on a bus. It didn't really make it that far up, as you can probably have guessed. Can I actually make it all the way up? No, I don't think so. It's slowing down to a complete crawl. This point, I think it would be faster if I ran. And then it's kind of hard to do it. Yeah. Let's get out here. Oh my gosh. So there's a car. Basically, the car is all the way down there. It's kind of hard to run if I fart. I might slide back down the slope, but I'm not that worried. should be just up here, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I've gone up here. But yeah, as you can see, you can get amazing views all the way out. So the, can you actually just see? Can you actually just get a glimpse of the future site of Rotopolis? I think you can. It's actually so steep I can't even climb up it. Basically what happens is my thing is immediately, my frog is immediately falling over as soon as I do it. So I'm kind of slowly making progress. Is it here? Yes it is. Yes it is. Many of you will be, um, many of you will probably know this. Yeah, it's here, yeah. Now the view is kind of gone because you can't see it from down below, but it's quite a steep slope to get up here. Wait. That sound wasn't here before. That sound that must just be activated as soon as you get up here. It's the wind of the mountain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay in this toilet. Uh, because you know there's a toilet here, and if I can use it as a respawn point, yes, respawn point toilet. So wait, frog life. Tiny Roik. What? Tiny Roy? Is that like a reference to something? It's gotta be. It's gotta be a reference to something. Don't run into that. It's not helpful. It's not helpful at all. 
No! Don't come off, Mr. Round Ball Thing of Death. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there! No, it's gone. I remember these things are actually really, really hard to get into. Um, to get, you actually do have to get into that hole. Oh, dang. Hit the wrong way, and I'm flying so far that I'm just hitting this thing the wrong way. It's gonna go off the edge, and that thing's already gone over there, so it's slowly gonna make its way down. So get off some transport. Oh, I remember doing this once. I tried to do it, but I couldn't actually get in, and I eventually rolled all of them down the hill. I just chased them, and I eventually got into one. But, you know, it, it, there you go. Alright. Okay, so we are in. I mean, basically, this thing's just like a thing that, like, goes around. It's kind of a ball. It does float. That doesn't really protect you from sharks too well. You might try that if we eventually make it to all the progress things that I want to do in today's episode. Um, the thing isn't the fastest. It definitely isn't the fastest, but it, it can't really roll over. <laughs> No, no, I don't, I don't think it can roll over. I'm not even sure if I can make it back up that slope. Like, seriously. Uh, I, this is scary. This, I, I'll be so dizzy. You know, I should go into first person view and be, like, really, really cool with that. <laughs> so, all you viewers out there, just go into first person. Ah, oh, that would be hilarious. I'm not sure actually if first person even works in these things. But it would be hilarious. I wouldn't be able to drive, but it would be hilarious. It's kind of hard to drive up slopes. Sorry, my phone. It's kind of hard because it, it like, because it's a ball, it, like, listens to gravity. Yes, it does. So, um, you can go up slopes, but it, the problem is it's kind of hard to steer when you're going up the slopes. Okay, so it's over on that big, flat area. It's gonna, and, you know, this will be really hard to go across because, as I said, it's kind of hard to steer because gravity uh, will tend to take you down. Like, I am literally steering and I'm going downhill. Like, literally. Literally, like, no joke. I'm actually going downhill. I'm steering to... Literally, I actually am steering to the right. Like, no joke. So, this is a pretty steep slope. I'm trying to stay as... Turn as far as I can to the right, but pretty hard. I remember Pungent, he went over here in the, um, he used the pig, pig method. <laughs> I'm using this thing. It's pretty slow. But okay, it's starting to flatten out, so I should theoretically be able to go over the top of these mountains, and then it should be just a little bit further. Like over there or something. From that flatlands. I want to go over to that flatlands, actually. Go straight over there. Oh, by the way, you know, I do World of Tanks on this channel, um, and I, I found on Amazon, they're selling the World of Tanks Rush card game, and it gives you a Pons V2 code. I, I actually didn't order that, um, because it looks pretty good, and I don't have a Panzer V2, and I know that Panzer V2 is pretty darn overpowered. But you know. Hmm, okay. If you guys take that, by the way. There's only one left in stock. If you guys take that from me, I'm gonna be so furious. Literally. If it was one of you guys, viewers. There it is, look, it's a blimp! You can see it, it's way over there. Alright, you just need to get to flat. But if one of you guys, one of my viewers, took it, I'm gonna be so mad at you. You took it? No! Why? Anyway, so we're making, we're slowly making progress. We don't have too much time to mess around there. It's already 15 minutes in, looks like. Yeah, it is 15 minutes. We're slowly, ever so slowly, leaning to the left, but I'm trying to turn to the right as far as I can. I, uh, this isn't too bad of a slope, so I believe that I am effectively turning it to the right. Well, it shouldn't be too bad. But this is a flat now, so this is really where it comes into play. Where is it? I saw over there. Can I zoom out any further?
Okay, okay. Believe it's over there. I do definitely think so. Actually, you know, what? I think it's hidden by that big mountain hill thing. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go past it, and we should be there pretty soon. I'm mean, guessing definitely isn't the fastest, but it's got momentum and a little bit of the speed, basically constantly. Um, and uh, as I said, it can't roll over, so it's not really the best for off-roading purposes, but if you're taking it on a long trip on the flat, like this car is the only way to go. But I probably could have done that with the car. Uh, I might have rolled it, but, you know, I shouldn't have rolled it too far from this. And this is this is definitely faster than, like, running speed. Well, I know it might be about as fast as running speed, but remember, we'll keep this up. You won't far and slow down. I'm not absolutely certain if it's faster than running speed or not. So. I'm tempted to not use this footage because I said I talked about the Panda B2 thing. Um, but now I think about it, I won't because. You guys don't usually watch this far into the video. <laughs> 15 minutes in. Never team no one watches it this far, so I think I'm pretty good. Alright. Whoop, over the top. I believe it should be just to the bright. Please tell me it is. Yes! Oh yes. You're nearly there, guys. All I can see is two blimps. So what's behind that mountain? I guess most of it's covered by that small hillock. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Wait, is that a blue blimp? It is a blue blimp. I, ne I haven't driven one of those blue blimps before. Um, well, at least I haven't driven one with that color scheme. Wait, does it have a red nose? Oh, that's so cool. Wow. What does it sound? I'm going to have to check it out. Does it look like, what is that, a porta potty? I can't really see through the ball too well. What, what is this? What? So it's a, a blue lamp with a porta potty? Oh! Wait, is, it, is that like a pen? Must be a pen It's a gigantic soccer ball. A bouncy castle. Is that a bus? Is that, wait, is that a bus? I'm sorry, I'm moving the camera. Yeah, it is a bus. It looks like a bus. Yeah, wow. It says it fresh, fresh Water Corporation. That's on the Fresh Pond Water Corporation. That's what's on the side of the water gun, actually. I, I realize that. Huh. Alright, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Wait a second. I get inside this thing? <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh, I hit the cookie! I hit the cookie! Can I actually get inside of it? No, I can't. I can just bounce off the side. That's so weird. It's so weird. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up against the back of this respawn point. And I guess it's going to allow me to kind of stop this thing in, in hopes that it, it'll just simmer down, right? Yeah, okay. I mean, the ball's rolling away, but it's rolling away at just slow speed. I don't expect it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Alright, I'm unstuck. Okay, I'm glad they added that out, because before I would have been in trouble, so I'm just going to reach one point here. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, look at these giant blimps. These are like blimp soccer things. We got three red ones and one yellow one. <gasps> it's a cookie. It's a cookie. It says feeder, feeder site of Frog, Frog Palace City. Wait, are these all for the? Con these are all the construction worker things. And they got blimps and a giant soccer bottle. This is information. Wait, can I get behind this? I don't think I can fit through that gap, but I'm pretty sure that if I run and jump, get over there. Ugh! Yes. All right, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. 
Hello, what can I do for you? I'm just checking on my cash in my cashier machine. Can I, how do I get out of this? How do I get out of this? I'm like biting the desk. Ugh. Put the can on the floor, I don't need that can. <laughs> All right, so let's check it out. Can we use the buses for the soccer? Like the bus things? Because I believe the blimps might blow up. But if we use the buses, play soccer with buses. That doesn't work, then we'll try blimps. Stand up for once, stop biting the tires. You're gonna blow a tire. Oh, wow. Ah! This is pretty good with the giant soccer ball. Oh! I rammed the other bus, this isn't going well. Right. Get to the blimp, get to the blimp. Get one of these things. Let's try it out. That ball is rolling away ever so slowly. So I'm gonna turn around with this thing. This thing's pretty slow. So here we go. Here we go. They should put some NPCs here, because they got NPCs at the Future Sight of Swindon, what's its face? Wait, Future Sight of Swindon on C. They need to put some NPCs here, like uh, construction worker MP styled NPCs. So I got beach styled NPCs at the Swindon on Future Sight of Swindon on C. Put your feet on the pedals! How are you driving like that? <laughs> now, the, the, the thing is closed, but it should open up if I go near, right? Right, are you gonna open up? Yes, you are gonna open up. Freshwater Pond Corporation. This is how they deliver all the water. All right, let's do it. All right, let's get that one up. It's kind. It's actually kind of hard to get into these things. Yes, go, go. Go! Smack! Ah, oh, he's, he's so sad that he can't in, he's smacking the stairs. Spite it! Get on it! Fight! Look like up this hat, I can bite the thing. Yeah! Go on, fart or something. Fart! Eh, 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 eh. No, it's not working. I need to get a bit more. I need to time it just right. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, lag, lag, lag. I t screwed it up. Alright, okay, I need to time it just right. Just perfectly. Ugh! No, that was terrible. It's terrible. I didn't really jump in time. Ugh. You know, like, I usually am a pro at getting into these things, but I can't get into this one. There you go. Yes, yes, yes. No. No! He's so angry, he's biting his hand. He's so angry. Yes! No! Oh. You need that fart to get up here. You need that fart, and I'm really, really hot right now because I don't have my fan on. Get up into the darn thing. Just fart for once. I'm spamming. I'm pushing the blimp. Look at this. Who needs a blimp? You got frogs. You know what? You know what? They have weapons here. We've gotta have weapons here, right? 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 Mm-hmm. So go ahead and check it out. I mean, this thing's not too slow, so it should be all right. All right, let's check it out. See, the blue is not even touching the ground. But they, they should make it a bit lower, make it a bit easier to get inside of, because those things are kind of tough. Oh, they need to. But I think this definitely is a work in progress thing. Um, they don't have any weapons or anything here. So, yeah, yeah, look, he's sad. He said he's binding the thing. He's disappointed that he couldn't go blimp soccering. So, I'm going to end this episode like we started it with the cuff thing of my. Helmet in. Now I'm gonna end this episode. So start with the cuff thing in my helmet inside of my shirt. Bit weird. Yeah. So, so I shall end this episode here at around 30 minutes. So that's pretty good timing to stop. I shall end this episode here. Leave a like if you enjoyed. 
and I'm gonna set live stream up so I can start doing that. Quackly subscribe. Don't be turtly slow at leaving a comment. And turtly be quackly on leaving a like and sharing this video to help support my channel. While I whack my headphone wire and nearly pull it out of its socket. But yeah, so leave a like, subscribe, share this video out. Leave a comment on your thoughts on anything I can get better. And I shall see you all next time. Turtle out.